Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip from the wonderful Catalyst Magazine. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope everything's going great this week. All right, so today I'm entitling this tip, Mind the Gap. Oh yeah, from my British friends. We've all run into this scenario. I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Where we have run into issues with gaps in line types. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go into the erase command. And if I move my cursor on top of an object on the line type where that it's visible that we can see, no problem. But heaven forbid I should go where there is a gap. AutoCAD is like, I cannot see that. Talk to the hand, there is nothing there. You're like, there is something there. That's part of the object. Why can't you see it? Nope, can't see it. All right, or even worse, if I want to use an object snap in the gap, right? Let's say if I just go in the line command and then I'm gonna go into the nearest object snap, I wanna snap to the gap, forget it, doesn't exist. If I'm on the object, it can see it. In the gap, forget it, not there. Not there, it's invisible. I'm like, no, it's part of the object. It just happens to be the gap in the line type. So what do we do? Well, I mean, I guess the workaround is we can grab that object. We can temporarily change it to the continuous line type. We can do our object snap and then we can put it back. Okay, what a drag though, such a drag. So, inside of AutoCAD 2017, and of course 18, they in introduced this amazing system variable called LT Gap Selection, which is gonna make your life so much better. I do not know how I lived without it. And I don't know why it took us so long to get it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. LT Gap Selection. Awesome sauce. All right, I'm gonna set that to one. Um, incidentally, inside of AutoCAD 2017, it is off by default. Inside of AutoCAD 2018, it is on by default. Of course it is. So just make sure that you have it set to on regardless of the situation, all right? Now, check it out. Now, if I go into the erase command, look, I can see you even if I'm in the gap. Awesome, all right. And if I go into the line command, same scenario, and I go into the nearest object snap, no problem, it sees it in the gap, yay! It knows that I'm trying to grab the object even though it's part of the gap of the line type. I love that, it's wonderful. How did we live without that? LT gap selection, don't forget that. And don't forget to join me back here in two more weeks. And your third assignment, have a great rest of the week. Thank you for joining me.